Hey Gleeks, it is Winky Gleek and today we will be reading chapter 5 of Until Today and it is my most favorite chapter and I made sure to put heavy lambs content in here. So without further ado, let's just get into the video because this is going to be a doozy. Chapter 5. I'm not throwing away my shot. I came home to our prestigious garden, Eliza waiting by the marbled bench under the moonlight. She was holding her stomach, and I had noticed it had gotten bigger. She told me, I'm pregnant, Alexander. We're going to be parents. I almost died on the spot, and I walked over to Eliza and held her stomach. How long have you known? A month or so, she replied. Eliza, you should have told me. I wrote to the general a month ago, and I begged him to send you home. You should have told me, I responded. I'm not sorry. She knew I'd fight until the war was won, even though it wasn't not if it wasn't even done. But she was right. I should have a chance to meet our son. I was poor, and how could I provide for her and now our future child? Eliza kept me grounded. She reminded me that we don't need a legacy or money or even our child to be just like us. We could just be enough. I wish to make her happy but I know that I will never be satisfied. I sat on the bench and felt my son kicking around in Eliza's stomach and I cried happy tears. Lafayette, a smart guy, a great friend, an immigrant, he takes my place by the general's side once I leave to take care of Eliza. He's been great in the war. He goes to France and asks for more weapons and ships, and now we're even with the British. But we, ne we can never win at Yorktown. Then Eliza got a letter from Washington. He said, Lafayette convinced me that you are our most needed soldier during this part of the Revolutionary War, and that I was the only way we would succeed. Eliza was relu reluctant to let me go, but it was the only way to freedom. I kissed her goodbye and wished her and our unborn son plenty of prayers as I left for Yorktown. There I met up with you, Lawrence. Later that day, Washington called me into his quarters. I was ready for the war to finally end, and he gave me some final advice. From here on in, history has its eyes on you. I learned that history will watch this moment forever. It'll paint me and my mistakes. I must be cautious. I made sure to promise I'll be great, and he finally handed me my sword and given me what I had always wanted. I was finally going to command a battalion, and so I might as well go out on a bang here. The next few days go by as we were getting ready for advancing and leaving to our stations. I see you fluffing up your ruffles and getting on your uniform in the mirror. You seem to say something into the mirror, but I think nothing of it. So, you ready, Lawrence? I break the silence. Of course not, but I'm ready to do what's right. We'll make it through this. We'll end slavery and we'll f fight to the end for America, you respond. But listen, before we go, I have something I'd like to tell you. Okay, what? First, give me a high five. You hold your hand up. I slap it and hold it there to see your reaction. Your hands seem like lava, jeez. You then intertwine our fingers. I love you too, man. And you walked away to your side of the tent. So that's how you really felt. My letters did mean something to you after all. Did you not write back letters to me on purpose? What was the meaning of this? Why now? Forgive me, Lord, for I'm about to sin. Forgive me, my dear Martha, I heard you mumble. Uh, John, did you say something? You walked back over to me. You stood a foot away from me. We gazed into each other's eyes for a minute tops, and I couldn't stand the tension, but I knew something was going to happen. You broke the ice. Forgive me, Lord. I know I'm going to straight to hell for this. Spare Alexander from this. And Alexander... I'm not throwing away my shot. What? You grabbed the ruffles on my shirt and you pulled me into your face and you kissed me. Your tender lips were on mine. I guess I didn't have to tell you that I loved you anymore. My body tried to push away, but I couldn't bring myself to. I had never thought that kissing another man would feel like fireworks bursting inside. Who knew that sodomy was so real like this? Who knew that it'd be so tender, so passionate, so fragile, yet so interesting? Who knew that right before we could all possibly die that this was it? Who knew that Lawrence was up to committing this heinous crime and risking being sent to hell just to show me how he really feels? 
What a man was all I could say for his undeniable courage and bravery in this very moment. I wrapped my arms around you, returning your kiss. You wrapped your arms around mine, and I felt ex like exploding and dying of happiness. Yet, I also felt regret, <laughs> guilt, I can't speak, regret and guilt inside. I immediately pulled away. I'm s so sorry, John. No, I just, why? I, we can't, no, I stuttered, releasing you. I ran out of the tent, holding my hand over my mouth, thinking of the crime I had just committed. I didn't look back to see the horror of rejection and the tears filling your glistening brown eyes. What would Angelica or Eliza think? What would Lauren's family think? What would the Lord think? Questions flooded my mind as I sat behind a tree near the river outside. A turtle came out of, uh, came up out of the river and I reminded myself, no, nobody else saw it, so it didn't happen. Nobody needs to know. I returned to our tent with the turtle and you were facing the other way towards the wall. I gave the turtle as a good luck token and hugged you one last time before another lieutenant colonel came in to tell us we were finally on the move. Good luck, Lawrence. I'll see you on the other side of the war. I hugged you and grabbed my baggage and headed out. Forgive me, Lord. Even though Lawrence may have asked you to spare me from hell, I admit to committing a sin. I have returned what I shouldn't have. I did, not him. Do with me what you will. I have regret and guilt to spare. Until today. Thank you so much for joining me today in reading my fifth chapter of Until Today. I hope you enjoyed it, and tomorrow I will bring you guys chapter six of it, and I hope you guys can subscribe. Please comment down below any of your favorite moments, and I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs> Da 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 da